Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a review on the Schaefer Fine Line fountain pen. Um, from what I understand, the Schaefer Fine Line was produced from the uh, 1940s to early 50s. Um, they came in a, mul a multitude of different colors and they're a lever filling fountain pen. The interesting thing about the Schaefer Fine Line series is that you can unscrew the nib. You just would twist the nib right and you could completely unscrew it from the section and the whole premise of this was to be able to allow the users to switch out the nibs really fast. Another interesting thing about this is that the fine lines were the steam the predecessors to the Schaefer cartridge fountain pens. Um, I thought that was quite interesting as well. Um, Schaefer fine lines uh, are actually quite reliable with smooth nibs. I can vouch for that myself because of my experiences with the pen. Um, the Schaefer Fine Line has semi-flex to it, and that's nice. Um, on the nibs of the Schaefer Fine Lines, um, you, I don't know if you can see this, but it says 343, I do believe? No, 341, sorry. It says 341 on the nib here, and that signifies um, the nib line width. Let me zoom in for you here. As you can see it says 341. And f from 340 to the uh, max number, I'm not completely sure of exactly what that is. Um, I think it's 350. I might be wrong, but don't vouch me on that. But uh, the each uh, variation, 340, 341, 342, etc., decides line width and and line size because of the nib shape. Um, that's quite nice. This particular Schaefer fine line I brought back to working condition myself. I've restored a couple fountain pens now um, and it's a, it's a fun hobby to get into but uh, going forward uh, the Schaefer fine line isn't really a necessarily big pen. Um, uncapped comparing it to this uh, pocket fountain pen here uh, it's almost uh, relatively the same size as you can see um, it's not too bigger than that so it's not that big of a pin but it's it's light since it's that plastic body um, which is pretty cool um, the lever filler fills a decent amount of ink it has a uh, size 19 sack on it that I put on so it's it holds a decent amount but uh, besides that um, I'll talk about the pen a little bit more. Um, interestingly enough, it has the same nib shape as my Schaefer cartridge pen. And going off of that as an example, uh, this is the fine line, this is the Schaefer cartridge. You can see that the fine line was the obvious predecessor to um, the Schaefer cartridge pen. Apparently, some of the latest model of models of fine lines uh, or more so transitional fountain pens which were made right before they started making the Schaefer cartridge pen here and that's evident in some strange uh, nib 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 numberings so besides that I'm gonna get on to a writing sample and uh, I'm not completely sure the line width of this but I can get back to you on that um, I'll talk about the smoothness of the nib The nib's actually quite smooth, and I'm very impressed by that, so that's good. Uh, I'm going to check some flex. I do believe when I used this pen a while back, it had some flex to it, which was nice. Flex. Just has a little bit of flex though. Like, um, let me try something else. It's not, it's not too noticeable, but there's just a little bit of flex with this. I do believe there is a uh, numbered model of Schaefer Fine Line that has more so flex to it. And I heard that 
So it's the nibs are just swap. You can swap the nibs out really fast. Um, there's some Schaefer fine line nibs you can buy online. Just inserts. You just screw it in, and there is a. a I do believe I thought there was a flex nib insert. There was stub fine shorthand, which I think is flex, and uh, stuff like that. But um, here's the official writing sample. As you can see here, um, it's a it's a medium line because it's a 341, and as you, as you can see here on the nib, it has this beaded shape, and this bead uh, has is decides how smooth and the line width. It's a pretty broad bead because it's a medium medium uh, shape fine line, so that's pretty interesting. Um, but uh, I thought that was cool. Um, Schaefer fine lines uh, were something that was sort of ahead of its time. Uh, they didn't really have very many uh, pins that could switch out the nibs that fast. I do believe there might have been a few Osmeroid uh, variant fountain pins before this that had this function, but it was more so something that's more so of an oddity, and that's why Schaefer fine lines have become more so a collector's item. Um, if you're going to get a fine line, just make sure uh, it's in working condition or you know how to fix it. Like for me, I knew how to fix it. Um, it took me about a day or so to uh, soften everything up. I got an ultrasonic cleaner, cleaned out the whole pen, uh, I slapped a new ink sack on it, and uh, luckily the lever bar didn't need a, a replacement because if you repair these lever pens, sometimes they need replacement. But Anyways, I slapped this new sack on, filled it up, it's ready to go, it works perfectly fine now. Uh, I now have a working Schaefer fine line, which is cool, but, um, yeah. Any more questions, just let me know. Uh, be Feel free to post a comment in the description, uh, any advice, anything like that, just uh, give me a holler. But, uh, thank you. Bye-bye.